Welcome to Electron Online, and now it's time for some examples, some exercises to get more comfortable with this. Logarithmic functions are kind of brain twisters. Even for me, sometimes I look at it and it's just so anti-intuitive, but by doing some regular exercises like this and always keeping in mind the relationships, you can see that x equals a to the y really means y equals the log base a of x. If we keep that in mind and be able to reference that, we're in good shape. And also, if we use this example right here that the log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3 because the base raised to the 3 power is equal to 1,000. Keep that in mind and the rest of the exercises will be very simplistic. All right, what they're asking us to do here is to write this expression in exponential form, which means we have to go from this form to this form right there. Notice that the base is indeed the base, y becomes the exponent, and x becomes what the base raised to the exponent is equal to. So when we come over here, we can say that we take the base raised to the third power, and that should equal 125. So here we can write the base raised to the third power equals 125, and that is taking the logarithmic form and writing it into what we call exponential form. Here again, we take the base, 8, raise it to the one-third power, and we should get equal to 2. And here again, we take the base, raised to the second power, and that equals the number 100. So you can see that if you follow that straightforward rule, it becomes pretty straightforward to do the problems. Now let's try the next one. Here we have to express the term that we get here, which is an exponential form, and convert it to logarithmic form. So what they're asking us to do here is go backwards, starting with the exponential form, and they're writing like this. So the exponent becomes the dependent variable, the base becomes the base of the logarithm, and then x then becomes what the logarithm operates on. So in this case, what we have here is the exponent becomes 4 is equal to log to the base. The base would be base 10, and that would be of 10,000. Here we have uh, the, the exponent that becomes x is equal to log to the base e, of the number 3, and of course that can be written as x is equal to the natural log of 3. Over here, again, we take the exponent, that becomes the number on the side, so minus 5 is equal to the log of the base of the number 1 over 32. So the log base 2 of 1 over 32 is minus 5, because 1 over 2 raised to the fifth power gives me 1 over 32. And so that's how we can convert from one to the other in a straightforward manner. Again, follow the specific rule. So here we see when we go from log log logarithmic form to exponential form, we take the base, raise to this number, and that's equal to 125. Over there, it's exactly in reverse. So if we want to check to see if we did it correctly, we take the base, raise it to this number, and we should get equal to that. Take the base, raises this number, we get that. Take the base, raises this number, we get that. So let's check it. The base raised to fourth power gives me 10,000. The base raised to x gives me 3. The base raised to the minus 1 fifth power gives me 1 over 32. And that's how you check to make sure you did it correct. That's how we do that.